Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how I'll be installing this Kingston SSD drive. So this is an A2000 SSD PCIe NVMe Gen 3 drive. So I'll be installing it in an Asus RUG Strix laptop. So this is a gaming laptop. It comes with 512 GB internal SSD and I needed some more space. So I'm gonna install this Kingston as I said. The Rockstrix, as you're gonna see now, supports up to three NVMe SSD drives in it. It already has one that is occupied, that comes from the manufacturer. And I'm gonna install this one in one of the two spares. So let's do the installation. Thank you for my little helper. So the Asus Rockstrix has screws here that hold the cover. You should remove the screws. So let's start from left to right like this. Make sure not to lose the screws and the screws are not all the same lens as you're gonna see. I'm gonna show it to you now. So I'm gonna remove this screw and you're gonna see that it is shorter than the other screws. So of course when you put them back on, make sure that to put the right screws in the right places. When you remove all the screws from your Asus Rock Strix, you need to pry this cover here open. And this is where you need to pry it open on this side here. So just take a prying tool. Be careful not to insert it too much because you can like uh, break something inside. So when you have it pried open, keep sliding the tool all the way like this and do it slowly. And when it opens completely, be careful. So I'm still opening here. So be careful, it has two cables here. If you can see them, these are for the lighting. So do not touch these cables and do not remove them. And the SSD can be installed here simply. So I'm gonna open it now. So let's unbox the Kingston SSD. Here it is. And you notice it has a key here. So this key should go into this key here. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see. So here you have a key. You can install it either here or there. So I'm going to install it here. And you have here a screw. So you should remove the screw first. And this is what I'm going to do. So let's remove the screw. And simply insert the SSD like this here. And when you insert it, notice how it stays up like this. You should push it down gently and then put the screw back here. And let's screw it in place. Be careful and do not force it. Do not screw it too tight, just a little bit. So now it is installed and everything is ready. So let me close up the laptop. So just put the back cover in its place carefully and just push it until it clicks in place. And put back the screws and careful as I told you for the screws, there are screws that are short and there are screws that are long. Just as a reminder, the long screws go here. So you have one, two, three. And on the back of the laptops, on each side you have two long screws. And in the middle, on the back, you have two short screws. And in the front here, you have three short screws. So let's fire up the laptop now. And I'm going to show you how to initialize the SSD drive. So now we started the laptop after we installed the SSD in it. We need to start a program called Disk Manager. So go into the search here and type Diskman. And select the first one, which is Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. And you're going to see that the laptop will ask us to initialize the disk because it detected the new SSD. So here simply press on OK, leave it at GPT and press on OK. So this is the SSD drive. As you see, it is still draw, so it doesn't have any partition on it. We need to create a partition on it. So right click in the empty space and select new simple volume and then click on next and leave everything by default. Click on next here and here it will assign a drive letter of course to so 
that you can access your drive. So click on next and leave it as NTFS and allocation unit size default. And for the volume label, you can name it. Here I'm gonna name it with the name Kingston so that I know that this is a Kingston drive. And leave it at perform a quick format and simply here click on next and finish. So now the volume is ready to be used. And you see that if we go to this PC, to Explorer, under this PC, you're gonna see the new drive. So let me show it to you. So under this PC, you have here the new drive, which is the Kingston drive that we just installed. So that was it for the installation of an SSD in your Asus Rockstrix gaming laptop. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and it will help the channel greatly. I want to thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.